All right, we got spirit for Leo. Clear, intuitive messages, please. We got deception for your first card. Okay. We got deception. We got oppression for your first card and your second card. We got illusion for your third card. Okay, we're going to use these cards. What's the vibe? So, there could be somebody that is around you that can be very deceptive. And whoever this is, this is somebody that can come off as very, like, harsh. Um... I'm just getting that this is somebody that could be putting some pressure on you. But I don't feel like this is you, Leo. Some of you guys, this is happening behind the scenes with somebody that has deceived you. But I'm hearing deception is like literally putting a lot of pressure on somebody. And... I just feel like this person could just be caught up in some form of illusion. So this is somebody that's toxic, right? And they could be going through bad karma, but I'm hearing harsh karma. Like karma that is very difficult to get out of, Leo. And it's like they choosing to like ignore whatever it is that is, you know, happening to them. I'm, feel, I'm hearing punishment. Somebody is getting punished for something. Yeah, it's a lot of tension around your person. Whoever this is. Stressed out, migraines, worried. This person is... It's like there is a lot of opposition up on this person. Like... There is somebody who's being punished. Not only material-wise, but they also could be mentally punished i'm hearing like somebody could be all in their head and it's getting worse and worse and worse or it, things that's happening in their life is so bad to the point where they are getting migraines puzzled so conflicted we got confused perplexed conflicted yes somebody in the background is going through something leo they all in their head. They're confused. They don't know which way to go. This is somebody that's feeling lost right now. This person is very lost right now in regards to their life. But I feel like spirit is putting some pressure on this person to go a certain way. But they want to remain stuck where they at. It's like no matter how harsh the punishment is up on them. It's like they're refusing to listen. This is somebody that's very stubborn, very hard-headed. You know, it's like we got self-restraint right here. Yes, this is somebody that don't want to get going. They don't want to move. They don't. Yes, somebody is being forced to change. But spirit is, is they holding themselves back for real from moving on in a better in a better direction, whoever this is. But it's like somebody, is, they don't want to listen. Somebody is hard-headed. I just get, get this stubborn energy. We got boundaries. This is somebody that's just getting fed up. But it's telling me they are so conflicted, so confused about which way they want to go in their life, Leo. Or whether they should just, I don't know. This is telling me that. Your person is refusing, like they don't want to change. They don't want to make change. They're stuck in the same predicament that they are in right now. Whatever situation they got going on, Leo, they are stuck in that. They want to go they this way when spirit trying to get them to go a whole nother way. And they're making things a lot more difficult for them. But I feel like spirit is purposely putting blockages in this person's life. But they could be so stubborn to the point that they just, you know, they don't want to change. It's like this is somebody that's so stubborn, like, 
to the point where they know they need to change, but they don't, it's like they do, but at the same time, they know they're not going to change. That's the energy that I'm picking up on. They trying to gain some form of control of, over their life because we got self-restraint. This person is trying to control their own life, but spirit is trying to push this person in another direction, Leo. Whether this is you or them. But that's exactly what it's showing me. Somebody is getting some critical punishment right now. And the more they stay stuck, the more they stay stagnated, the, th the more things don't work out in their favor. It's going to get very difficult. Because they... They want to go one way and, and, and Spirit keep trying to push them the other way. And this is somebody... Listen, Spirit gave this person so many chances to get it right. All these arrows is going this way. All the white arrows is going this way. Your person wants to go their way. I'm here my way or the highway. This is somebody that's very selfish, very self-centered, very arrogant. I'm getting cocky energy. Like, this is somebody that's just stuck in their ways. And they make things very difficult for themselves in their own life. I'm just getting that it's a lot coming at them. Like, the more they choose the opposite path, the opposite direction, which is their way, the more disrespectful spirit gets on them, the more harsh the punishment is. That's exactly what I'm hearing. This is for somebody. And I got a feeling it's somebody that has deceived you before. That was very burdensome to you, Leo. I'm hearing the pressure is on. I'm hearing harsh punishment is there. Like, I'm going to take it. Ace of Swords. And you know what's crazy? This person is like fighting to see the truth of the situation. They they got a lot going on within themselves mentally. And their, their physical life. But the more they choose their way... The more harsh spirit has, the more of an ass whooping they get. Let's put it like that. We're going to cuss today. <laughs> we got the magician. Yes, it's like they trying to do what they want to do. They know what they need to do. They know the truth. They know they have done wrong to you. This is somebody in their mind. They know the truth. They know they have played mind games with you. They know they met, they did something to you, Leo. And that's why they, they, they get in it. So this is somebody in the background that knows they did you wrong and now they're facing karma. Basically. This stands out. I'm going to take it. And you know what's the crazy thing about it? This is somebody that also has feelings for you, but they decide to withdraw those emotions. They, they decide, they ain't happy though. Like whatever path that they have chose, Leo, they're not happy. They're very down. They're very out. They're very depressed, Leo. Stressed out, having headaches. You know, they just lost. Mentally and physically lost. But spirit keep it's like I'm here to have mercy on my soul. Fifty cent. Many men. I'm hearing that. I think that's many men. No, this ain't the right one. Have mercy on my soul. That's what I heard. Don't let my heart turn cold. Yes, yeah, this is somebody that's that has a cold heart. Have mercy. Yep, he said, have mercy on my soul. Don't let my heart turn cold. Yes, this is somebody that they they have a heart, but they choose not to use it. You see what I'm saying? But this is somebody that has deceived you, Leo, that's getting punished right now. Spirit is punishing the crap out of this person. And the more you go they, their own way, 
Because Spirit gave them so many chances. These are white arrows. They all going this way. Spirit is, is it's like Spirit keep telling them to go left. They want to go right. Because they think they write all the time. This is somebody that's very stubborn. But that path that they choose is a lot harder. We got boundaries. Disrespectful. Enough is enough. Defend yourself. Yes, the path they choose. They chose the harder path, Leo. So that's what Spirit is about to give it. Spirit is about to give it to them. Since they want to choose the harder path, Spirit is about to give it to them. They know what they have done to you, but they ain't saying nothing. We got the two of swords reverse. We got the queen of pentacles, and then we got the six of wands. So your person is thinking about taking action towards you, Leo, whoever this is. And I just feel like after all this time of pain and suffering that they have put, you know, caused themselves to be in, they finally make a decision. They finally take the blindfold off and realize that you are somebody that has been very loyal to them at one point in time. But they choose not to see it. They choose to ignore you. They choose not to make you av available in their life. And now they and they feelings unhappy and depressed. Some of y'all this is a Leo because we did have the sun card reversed. Some of y'all is a Gemini. Some of y'all is an air sign. Yeah, um, a Gemini, a Leo, or it could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Maybe even an Aquarius. Maybe, but yes, I just felt like this is somebody that had just been trying to you you know go their own way in life and realize that they ain't getting nowhere. Because it ain't nothing but blockages. I'm here. Blockages after blockages after blockages. Like spirit is like they want. I'm here. Um, you want to go that way? I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna make it difficult for you. But they know, Leo, that or cross watcher. They know that what they have done to you, that was that's the cause of their their punishment. That's the cause of their karma. Whoever this is. Then I say they do have feelings for you, but they holding them back. This is somebody that want to be a bad boy so bad, right? But they really, they really do got a heart for real. This is somebody that really got a heart for real. They just really childish about how they express their love for you or anybody. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody who is very childish. They, they don't really like to be vulnerable. But this person is going through so much right now, Leo, to the point they are in a vulnerable state right now. They is. They under some they undergoing some spell like somebody. I was say somebody put a spell work, but somebody. I'm hearing like dark magic is upon them, like over them. They got a dark cloud over their life right now. That's exactly what I keep hearing. This person has a dark cloud over their life right now, Leo, all because of the way they deceived you. All the way, it's like what they have done to you, spirit is punishing this person 10 times worse. And the more they try to go their way in life, the more punishment that they get, the more spirit served them. I'm hearing you got served. Some of y'all's person could be looking to go to court. Maybe somebody could be serving some papers. Somebody could be divorcing somebody. I don't know. Or maybe you have already took this person to court or already have divorced this person. Somebody could be on child support or maybe you could be tell, putting them on child support. I don't know, but I'm hearing you got served. But I am hearing that they got served in spirit. Spirit whooping their tail right now. What else, spirit? But it is telling me that after being stubborn for so long and refusing to see what they have done to you and refusing to see who you are and how loyal you was to them, they finally take that blindfold off. Because they ain't got no choice. The punishment is too is too great. It's too big. They lost. They ain't got nowhere to go. They because they ain't want to listen. Their way is not working anymore. They, maybe it worked for a little bit, but it's not working anymore. They thought that they were going to get away with something, but it caught up to them. Look, now this person's stuck. 
stagnant, stuck, dead, and frozen. They exhausted. They they don't know what to do. They listen. This listen. This ass whooping that spirit gave them exhausted this person to the point where they just like lay there. Like they just could be like in a zone right now somewhere, you know. But we got glow up, new opportunities, new careers, successful business. So this is some. This is you right now. You could be the person that is the one that has been loyal to them. And now you have already surpassed them in life. A lot of y'all are leveling up. But it is telling me that after them being stuck and stubborn for so long, refusing to see why they're going through what they are going through, right? Now they finally take that blindfold off. Spirit is giving them an opportunity to get their life together. Spirit is giving them an opportunity to get their life together. Some of y'all, this person could be getting an opportunity to get a job, start a new career, maybe go back to school. I don't know. Maybe even start a business. Dang, this person, it took this person to really go through, hit rock bottom in order for this person to like really, you know, wake up and realize that, you know, what they have done was wrong. Like I said, they still got feelings for you, though, but some of y'all could be ignoring this person. Some of y'all could be ignoring this person because you focusing on your stability or you blocked them or both, but they're not a priority. Look, I called it out. I knew somebody got blocked. Yes. So some of y'all's person, they going to come back and, and, and try to make it up to you, y'all. Try to, to get another chance with you, but you got them blocked. You have already moved on. Some of y'all ain't got nothing else to say. So this is somebody that knows the reason why they're going through some karma. I just keep hearing critical punishment. Like, they got their ass whooped for real. Like, spirit really did show this person who not to mess with anymore. And it was you. And now they know. That's what's bringing them back around. But I feel like y'all, at this point, at this point in your life, this person is not nobody important to you. You you ignoring them. You focusing on your own self. You making yourself a priority right now. You're staying true to yourself, and you got this person blocked, like literally. I feel like in your eyes, this is somebody that you look at as irrelevant now. Because I feel like this is somebody from a long time ago, literally. And it's like they attempted to, they reached out to you, but they realized that you blocked them. What else, Spirit? Fatal attraction. I, I feel like it just has got... It's just telling me what I just said. Basically, it got so bad in their life to the point where they have had no choice but to draw back to you. You know what I'm saying? Revert back to you, which is reach out. But like I said, you may have blocked them. Wow, some of y'all, this person could be like spiritually in jail. Spiritual jail or it could be in jail, jail. Some of y'all, this person could be in physical jail. Maybe somebody could be, if this your baby dad... Or maybe mom, maybe they could be in jail for child support. And maybe they could be trying to call you and let you, you know, and reach out to you and maybe apologize or whatever. Because some of y'all's person did attempt to open up to you with that page of um, cups that I've seen. But you probably blocked this person. That's if they are in jail. The rest of y'all, if, if, even if they're not, they still try to reach out. It got so bad in their life to the point they had no choice but to reach out and try to apologize. But they conflicted. We got side piece sneaky link. So some of you guys, this person is still dealing with somebody. They probably holding on to another person. Oh, some of y'all, you know what happened? Some of y'all, it, it may have took your person to go to jail to realize who really cared about them. You know, and the side piece that they may have had may have put them in jail. Maybe, they, like I said, maybe they put them in jail for child support. And maybe they didn't expect that person to put them in jail. But... It's telling me that your person is, is conflicted and stuck somewhere. They having sleepless nights, some of y'all. They having sleepless nights. So it's telling me two things. Some of y'all, this person is in jail and they're going through this because they don't want to make change. Spirit is trying to get this person to make change. And um, 
and they finally break free. They finally make a decision and make a move. But like I said, y'all got this person blocked. A lot of y'all got this person blocked. There is a side piece that got them locked up, literally. The rest of y'all, um, if not, if they're not in jail, it could just be seeing that they're in spiritual jail right now. And you still block them. Like you block your energy out from them. And you may have fit, like physically blocked them through your phone. So I'm saying, I'm hearing block, block, block. That's what I'm hearing. And now they just stuck where they at. Whether they stuck with a no good side piece, sneaky link, that they, where they don't want to be in in a relationship with this person or they could just be stuck in life in general like in jail wise and maybe they talking to somebody that they really don't want i feel like a lot of y'all this person is talking to somebody that they really don't even want or holding on to somebody that they really don't want but some of y'all this person is in jail because of a side piece or they was in jail and maybe they they could be getting out of jail and um to come apologize to you. Y'all take what resonates. Because energy is a little bit all over the place at the end. But um, yeah, this person gonna eventually be single. Somebody is single. They free themselves from some something or somebody. Yeah, some this person got a lot, they got a lot on their mind right now. They got a lot on their mind. Very triggered. But it's telling me they're going to find a way to get you back, Leo, whoever this is. They're thinking about how can they get you back. People from the past return. Look, they ain't got nobody. I strongly feel like some of y'all, there may have been somebody that they was dealing with that has put them in jail. And I'm hearing when they get out of jail, they gonna, they thinking about how can they get back to you. Okay, let's keep it moving. That's what some of my Leos, whether they're in jail or spiritual jail. Some, I don't know why I look at this. I'm hearing deadly cat. Fatal attraction and it's independence right here. Yeah, it's a woman that has been putting them through H-E-L-L, -L, like literally. Maybe your person probably gave them an STD. And that's probably why things went left. Maybe they ended up fighting them and then they ended up calling the police on them. I don't know. I'm here for somebody. That could be the case. Not everybody. I'm telling y'all, this person got to be in jail. They could be in jail and in spiritual jail. So your person got a double hit. They got hit with double. Because they already in the head up here. So when they go to jail, they ain't have no choice but to sit in jail and think about the, the stuff that they have done. Reflection. And then we got imprisonment. Yes, somebody is in jail. Because there could be someone that they was dealing with that has put them in jail. It got really bad. But they also in their head about putting you last. So that could be what that is with side piece right here. Some of y'all, your person is just in their head about putting you last at one point in time. And now they want to come back. So it's telling me that not only they conflicted about what they're going through because they want to they want out well, they did want to stay stuck. But now after being stuck, they realize that they going through what they're going through is because it's karma that has caught up to them. Because of how they treated you at one point in time. Now that you have bossed up, glowed up, moved on, and blocked them, they want to come back. And like I said, some of y'all this person was literally put in jail by another woman. The rest of y'all is telling me that this person is literally spiritually getting their ass kicked right now. And all it's like they left to sit here and think about what they have done to you. And how they put you last. I, I, I'm keep, I keep hearing that. This person is literally thinking about what they have done to you and how they how they did you. They did you dirty. This is somebody that know they did you dirty, Leo. It's sad to say, but they know they, they effed up. This person could be going through some legal situations. Like I said, somebody is in jail or spiritually in jail or both. 
Yeah, I feel like somebody running though. There could be somebody trying to get away with something or trying to get away in general. You're trying to leave a third party. That's what it is. But they're still holding on to them after putting them in jail. So some of you guys, somebody that put hit the, your person in prison, they could be still trying to like literally let that person go. But they maybe they have a soul tie with that person also. Maybe it could be like a toxic soul tie with that person also, Leo. You see what I'm saying? That third party is their karma. That's what that is. That third party is their karma, Leo. And your person is trying to leave that third party. Your person is trying to get away from that third party. That's crazy. Somebody is their karma for what they have done to you. We got patience. So right now it's telling me your person is waiting to, to break free from that person. Your person is waiting to leave and be single. Because some of y'all person still, I already said that, some of y'all person still dealing with this person. Even while they're in jail. So if they are physically in jail, they still hold on to that person, even though the person put them in jail. You see what I'm saying? They still hold on to the person that put them in jail. For some of y'all. Even if it's just spiritual jail, they still hold on to that person. Like, this person is a fool. Yeah, because they need them. So they only holding on to them because they need them. But like I said, only because of finance. Because like, mind you, this is somebody that find it very difficult to, to manifest, to, to get things off the ground. But yes, they only holding on because they really need them, right? They don't have nobody else to depend on. As far as if they in jail, putting money on their books, feeding them. Or if they're not in jail, just taking care of them and stuff like that. You know, putting some money in their pocket, helping them get around in a vehicle. It could be something like that. So that's the reason why they still holding on to this toxic individual that put them through this because I just felt like your person needs them. Yes, they that is that third party is their karma, but they they trying to find a way to get up out of there. But things just has been very slow for them. For them to even walk away, you know, with enough I'm here with enough money. So this is telling me your person really, but like I said from before, your person really don't want them. Your person really don't want to be there. They just there because they need them right now. They just dealing with them because they need them. Their money ain't right. Their stability ain't right. They need a roof over their head. They need food, you know? And it's like, I just keep hearing this is somebody from a while ago. It's all because of how they have done you, Leo. I just keep hearing this person is getting double karma. So not only while being in that toxic, staying in that toxic relationship, but they also get karma for doing you wrong. Look, karmic partner. I knew it. The person that they're dealing with is a karmic. Okay, let's pull some love oracle cards. Hey, your person dealing with a karmic right now. We got emotions overwhelming. So, yes, this person is definitely going through it right now, Leo. They are exhausted. They are drained. You know what I'm saying? They just, some of y'all's person is grieving where they at. I am stuck in visions of us together. Yes, now this person see a future with you. Now they know that you are their future lo lover. They know that you are their future soulmate. They know that they should have stayed by your side, Leo. It ain't telling me exactly what they have done to you, but it is telling me why they going through what they are going through, Leo. The way I have treated you was wrong. Yes, I knew it. Somebody treated you so messed up, Leo. And they thought that being in another connection with somebody was a safe way out. They thought that they was good. It was always going to get their way. Mind you, this is somebody very cocky, very stubborn. Maybe they, they have had things go their way for a very long time. But karma caught up to them. Karma don't forget no address. They, it doesn't. They don't. But they know that y'all belong together. They know how they treated you was wrong. They know that they was going to get... They re finally realized the reason why they're going through what they're going through is how because how they treated you. That third party was their karma. Look, they stuck. They stuck right now because their money ain't right. Even if they wanted to leave now, they cannot leave because their stability ain't right. They stuck where they at. Spirit is making things difficult for them. Period. But that's the path that they chose. Spirit was trying to show them the way. 
you know, with you, but they chose the, the other path with another person or other people. Because some of y'all are somebody that could normally be a player. But they ended up settling down for settling for less, which is a person that they really don't want to be with, is because they are forced to. They don't have nobody else to depend on. So who else, you know what I'm saying? How, how else are they going to try to escape karma? They need some type of support in their eyes. So it's like they're stuck in a situation that they don't even really want to be in. But it's all because of the way they treat you, Leo. Just know that. But I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. And y'all take care.